Well, the Parkland girls volleyball team had a season to remember this past fall, winning their seventh consecutive District 11 title before advancing to the PIAA semifinals for the seventh straight year as well. Now, a big part of Parkland's success this past season was the play of senior Leah Brunabend. Gwen Begley rejoins us with more. Ever since her first year at Parkland High School, Head coach Mike Krause knew he had something special in Leah Brunabend, a libero who was able to learn from her mistakes early on. Her freshman year, there was a point where the last play came at her. She mistimed the dig and went out of bounds and the match was over. She came up to me and said, Coach, that'll never happen again. It was the semifinals in the States against Bishop Shanahan away. And it, the fifth set, so it was like 13-15, and yeah, I shanked the last one. And I just remember feeling so bad, especially for the seniors. I just felt like I ruined it for them, but they made me feel better. And I apologize and stuff, but I'll never, I said I'd never do it again, and I've been working on that ever since. Leah has since grown into one of the most integral parts of Parkland's defensive efforts, averaging about 10 digs per match and 155 total through the Trojans' 15 matches this season. That growth, of course, wouldn't be possible if it weren't for the tools that surround her. It's all attitude, and she works so hard. Now she's at the point where she sees things so soon. She's making calls to the rest of the defense and reads. There's times that if we see a hitter's tendencies, that we will give her response for half the court. And she's done that. She walks the walk, and she talks the talk. And the, the girls know it, and that gives them that freedom to really make a lot of plays. Freshman year coming in, I was very timid and didn't have as much confidence, but they built that up for me, the upperclassmen, and I feel like I've done the same thing for the other girls now and just continue to get them gaining confidence and growing as a player is maybe better. Leah Brunabend led the entire state of Pennsylvania in digs in 2019, and she's continued her defensive success here in 2020. In fact, she earned her 1,000th dig in a five-set win over Emmaus back on October 21st. Leah Brunabend. 1,000 digs versus the Mayors, 10-12, 2020. The team is very proud of her. We're proud of her. And uh, that's something that really sets a standard for younger players. That, hey, I'm going to tell you, maybe some kids want to be like you someday. There's no greater honor than your peers that want to be like Leah. And that she gives, we call them the net walkers, her, Emily, and Jackie, where they could actually walk underneath the net without bending over. She gives those net walkers a place on the floor that, hey, I can compete with the big girls, and it's, it's pretty neat. It feels great. I feel like I just kind of keep it in the back of my head as a sense of confidence, like I said, and but just help me could push along. Couldn't have done it without my team. While the pandemic has made it difficult to find options at the next level, there's no question that Leah's time at Parkland has set her up for success far beyond her high school years. It is very hard just because of especially club season. Uh, that's where you like talk to coaches and where they get to watch you play. But our club season was cut short. So because of that, just doing make the best, sending them stuff. But I'd like to play. But if not, I, I'm just going to keep trying, keep my options open, keep talking to coaches. Her serve speed has really improved and her serve location. And she's focused. Uh, when you look at her on the floor, everything's She's dimed in on what's going on. So she's trying to look at college. We're trying to find some opportunities. It's been really hard because the club season was cut short. So it's a challenge, but uh, there's some opportunities out there that she's weighing at all levels, and that's the fortunate side, and we're good. And we're, we're hoping that she, she wants to study business, so she gets herself in a really good academic situation where she can make some program better by being just being there. Reporting for the SE Network, I'm Gwen Begley.